what's up y'all it's day and today like the title says i'm going to be trying um kimberly shirelle's octa curl video lord <laughs> um i figured let me go ahead and try this because her hair turned out so cute but i just got a feeling like it's not about to be for me so i'm actually going to be using african prize moisture miracle collection y'all y'all keep seeing me with this product it's bomb so i figured i would go ahead and use that because I get a really good definition with it and I get good moisture with it and I feel like I'm gonna really need it with this tutorial today. I don't know how this is about to turn out and I feel like it's about to be a fail but I watched her video several times and I talked to her a couple times about it so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and give it a little a little try. So right now I'm just going through and detangling my hair. Um, I did I do plan on doing a couple things different from her because that's the thing about tutorials when you watch natural hair tutorials you gotta tailor them to what your hair is like like I know she started on a uh, towel dry hair I know that my hair is easier to handle on wet hair so I'm gonna be doing mine's on wet hair not towel dry hair um, so that's one thing and I'm gonna think I'm gonna do something different with the roots. So one thing I know I'm doing different for sure is I'm gonna go ahead and pre-section my hair off. Cause when I was playing with this thing, <laughs> when I was protein treating my hair, I was having a time getting it across my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-section my hair off. And I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna, um, play her video as I do it because this is my first time doing it I'm not familiar with this thing y'all see I can't even get the little tentacles it's called the octo curl by the way um she found it on Amazon and I also found it on Amazon as well and used her little affiliate link and basically it's just like some little microfiber um towel strips and it has like eight pairs of little I don't know what to call these things tentacles I'm gonna call it tentacles because it's called octo curl um and you just y'all y'all gonna see it's Y'all gonna see. So, I bet y'all like this is about to turn out horrible. And I feel the same way, friend. I feel the same way, friend. Exactly. Oh, Jesus, why the hell I'm doing this? So, I'm about to <laughs> take exactly some jam, trying to open it. And just kind of go on top. Because you have to just place this thing on your head. We need this part to at least lay down, you know. But I just feel like at least have the top layer laying down, if anything. Like a mess of a <laughs> so after you've done that, literally that's how I feel as I'm doing this. Go ahead and just brush the top. I want to just brush this down. At... Okay. Let's just feel stupid. Feel so stupid. Y'all, her commentary is so funny. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to attempt to do a braid out right quick. But if not, we're gonna have to. Plus out a blow dryer because I don't think it's about to work. Okay. It's like every time that I film, she she got a hop. Get down. Go. <laughs> Alright. So I got my eight sections and actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I should have dragged this down a little bit. So I'm actually about to redo the section. Okay, see what I mean? Now that's like the hair and the clips are like downward so I can kind of fit that thing on my head. All right, so let's go ahead and put my sleeves up because I feel like it's about to be a, it's about to be funny. So let me go ahead and see what she's talking about. Okay, so I got my, my first piece. <laughs> this look a mess, it looks so bad, but it's really not. I feel like it's about to be real quick because you're only doing eight plaids. It just looked like a mess, but I'll, uh, whatever. And I'm going to be using the African Pride uh, Curl Cream to do this. Okay. I think I'm going to let this act as my third piece, the Octo Curl, to braid. So it comes with, like I said, the two pieces, and you just want to braid your hair into the Octo Curl. Add some more moisture on those ends. More moisture for my ends, please. <laughs> she is so funny. All right, so now I'm about to do my first one. And like I said, they're in two pairs. So 
and I'm not really paying attention to the circle part so I'm gonna take this and like she said use my real hair as my third piece so I'm just gonna do a plait so I'm gonna go through and start plaiting and I'm gonna try to get this right here as close to my root as possible and that's what I'm thinking is gonna give me a stretched root in my head hopefully that makes sense and then as I'm like doing it I'm trying to keep this hair sleek like that you see how it's like flat and sleek I'm trying to keep it like that and I kind of lost my braid oh there it goes okay I'm gonna apply a little more excuse me I'm gonna apply a little more product and keep going and this is the part where I got confused at Ooh, I lost my hair Shoot. apply a lot more product I guess like wrap it around this last piece and I'm feeling like I need to do a little two strand to get it to stay all right so this is where I was confused at this part right here so I'm just gonna try to make it stay in any kind of way that I can and use these little two pieces if I can grab them more And I have my hair like smashed in between. So I guess I'm just gonna do this and then twist it and then do it again. Oh, that kind of worked out. Okay, and that's one. <laughs> and you see my roots are kind of stretched. I feel like they're gonna be a little wavy, but I don't know. I like it. I feel more comfortable. Y'all look stupid. <laughs> I feel more comfortable doing this way. So. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep it going. This is kind of looking kind of promising. It stretched it out. Yeah, same. I mean, my, my roots a little wavy, but it's it's nothing too serious. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so this is my last one and I timed it and right, right now at this moment I'm at like 27 minutes. So this does not does not take long at all, especially because I don't know what happened on this side of my head that I'm on right now, but I could not <laughs> I could not get it to loop right. Like I don't know, my hair just kind of went dumb on me. I just couldn't get the ends to secure. Um so that's what took me a lot longer on this side. So I would say like 20, she said 20 minutes. I would say about 20 25 minutes. Um and the other thing, what I wish I would have did differently was I wish I would have did the front two, like these two first, um, so that the band can be evenly stretched around because I kind of had to play with it a little bit and undo one of them too. So yeah, I did an extra one too in this 27 minutes, well 28 now. Um, I did an extra one too because it was too, this one right here, this little tentacle was all the way back there. Um, and I'm trying to think, is there anything else I would do differently? I'm gonna do the two in the front, and that that's pretty much it. Let me see if I can act right with this one. Yep, okay. So this is the final install part, and overall, it's, it was not hard to put these in. It was not hard at all. I think the hardest part is trying to like plot in your head how it's about to go down but once you get a good thing going like putting it in the eight sections and then just it's just literally plat in the eight sections only things i would do differently like i said would be to uh do the front two first so this is evenly distributed and then do the rest of it then um make sure that i separate the sections off good because when i was in the back doing this last one 
um i pulled some of my hair over here and i felt it pop so i, I broke some of my hair off um when i did that and that's pretty much it i'm just about to air dry overnight my roots are really tight like like this one a little too tight but my roots are really tight and i'm gonna see how this turns out in the morning pray for me y'all i'm gonna pray for myself because i feel like i feel accomplished because i got them in but it could go all the way left all right, y'all, this is the next day I air dried overnight and I went ahead and took out one just to kind of see if it's gonna look like something. And it kind it does, it looks like it's gonna do something. I don't know about the ends. I don't think I did the ends like I should have. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking them down now and watch and see how she separated her, so. One, so my hair should be dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off. Alright, so it looks like my hair kind of smoothed down at the top, which is cool. Everything else looks kind of smooth. I'm excited. I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like because I don't know exactly. Pause. Okay. I did something right at the ends on this one. Look at that. I don't know. Maybe because it was the back and I couldn't see. But y'all see? I don't know if I can. There. Bam. Y'all see that? It's like a nice coil. But hold on. Exactly what it's going to look like. So we're just going to hop right into the takedown. wow like yo if all of them look like this i'm wanting something and i'm gonna do this all the time because this That's literally like. took hold on girl this literally took no time to do if all of them look like this and they separate right hold on let me keep going let me keep going okay so this is it after i took them all down and this was the only one that was wet and y'all can see it's kind of um, but I think I can make it work when I separate it. But y'all, look, I got a really nice curl out of this. Now, the only thing I will say is, um, mine's was nowhere near as stretched as Kim's. Kim's hair looked like it's significantly longer than mine's. But, um, on top of that, I did my braids. You guys see my braids are up here. And when you guys go watch Kim's videos, her braid starts looking at it her plait like starts down here but i think next time i will start them a little bit further down so i can get a more elongated curl but i think this is gonna turn out really nicely so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some of the moisture miracle five essential oils and go ahead and start separating um as far as because i posted this on snapchat yesterday and not snapchat on um well i did post it on snapchat but i posted it on instagram yesterday and somebody was like oh i tried that and my hair was like a dry frizzy mess um make sure this didn't dry my hair out and the thing is it's towel but it's microfiber towel and feel free to look this up but microfiber towel is actually it's not harsh on curls like it's actually people prefer to use that on their curls and they actually dry their hair with the microfiber towel i don't i don't like that I, I did something different in the back than i did in the front and we just gonna see if it'll come out right um actually i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna go look in the mirror and take out the back so i can kind of see how i need to separate it because i might need to separate it a little different but anyway what i was gonna say was microfiber towel is not um bad on hair really soft it won't snag doesn't have all that friction on hair i would say I, I have a good moisture routine so i wasn't really worried about my hair drying out but if you have dry hair this might not be for you and if you have a much tighter texture i would recommend doing it on already dry hair or doing it on stretched hair because i really believe that this can work on any hair type you like i said in the beginning you got to make modifications for your texture i know for me i get a smoother curl when i'm doing soaking wet hair so i started on soaking wet hair so i do think that this can work on any texture you just may have to stretch your hair out or do it on do it make adjustments for what you know what your hair likes make adjustments for it okay so i got the back separated and it's frizzy when i separate it but it's still got good definition as y'all can see um haven't quite figured out exactly what the best way to separate it is so i've just been kind of like tugging at it and then pulling apart where curls naturally happen at like right there all right y'all so as y'all can see the more i picked and separated the more volume i definitely got but it got a little bit frizzy on me so this is my first time trying it i am going to do a 
full tutorial my way in detail explaining how to get it right whenever I perfect it. So this is the final results. This style actually lasts me about three or four days and I loved, I love the stretch wave look and I'm definitely gonna be trying this again. So stay tuned for a full tutorial. And if you guys want more information on my makeup look today, stay tuned because I will be doing a tutorial on that as well. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave.